Hey guys, it's your boy Mark, back with another video. Happy New Year, 2023, y'all. Um, yeah, I am already here to give you guys my first review. My first wrestling review of 2023. Yes, the very first day of the year. This is the first video that I am making um, in this year. As you guys saw tonight, I also posted my Top Sunday. I made that video on Christmas Day. And I... And I uh, scheduled it, obviously, for January 1st. Uh, but this is my review, and... This is my review, and... Um, and uh, I, I'm very happy to be doing this. Um, but uh, yeah, this is my um, review for Noah, the new year, 2023 pay-per-view review. Now, this show, I've, I've never watched like a whole Noah show before this show. Um, I've, I've heard of you know, pro wrestling, no, of course I have, I've heard of it since, like, 2012, but I never actually really properly watched it, you know, aside from, the only time I watched it was, was, uh, oh, the close, like, I, I watched, uh, Masawa versus Kabashi from 2003, that was an amazing match, and I watched the Wrestle Kingdom, uh, 16, uh, night three stuff from last year, well, just a pre-show, um, but yeah, this show, man, this show was four hours long, but, uh, you know what, I was never really bored, I did have to watch the Japanese version, that was the only version I could watch, um, but I didn't mind at all, I mean, you're getting everything you need to know, what do they say, war is a universal language, you know what I mean, because, um, yeah, um, but, uh, no other new year, obviously the big thing about this show was Shinsuke Nakamura, while still under contract with WWE, being allowed to do, uh, the Great Muta's last singles match, and, like I said, I didn't really think I was gonna actually be able to review this, but I'm so glad I can. But, uh, yeah. And, oh, and actually, this show cut off for me right at the end. But literally seconds before the ending of the match. Because after the show cut out for me, and I couldn't see the rest of the show, I was seeing posts online saying, what an ending! Like, oh my god, thank god, it's like... Oh, man. Anyway, let's get on with my review now. My first wrestling review of 2023, January 1st, 2023, y'all. Uh, we open up with Yas Yasu Takayano versus Taishi Ozawa. And I can't tell you anything about this match other than it was the opener. Um, even uh, Wikipedia, the Wikipedia page for this show wasn't updating the winners. You know what I mean? Um, it was like, I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, this match just ended as I entered the stream. So I can't say anything much about this. Um, next up, we have a six-man tag match. Daiki, Inaba, Masa, Kitamiya, and Yoshiki Inamura versus Akitoshi Saito, Muhammad Yo Yo Yone, and Shuhei Taniguchi. And uh, one more thing. Um, like I said... I've never watched Noah before, so, um, most wrestlers on this show, I am not at all familiar with, so, I'm gonna say, so, I, so I, I don't know who was who in this match for the, in the, in these matches for the most part, you know what I mean, so, yeah, please bear with me, but, uh, um, yeah, this, this match, this was another, just, just a, just a normal six-man tag match, uh, but the thing about this match is, I recognized one of these wrestlers. 
I recognized Yoni, or Yon, Muhammad Yon. I'm, I know I mispronounced it. You know, the man is in a, in a Japanese wrestling company. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, his last name. Because um, I, remember, I remember him from Wrestle Kingdom 16 last year in the pre-show. Uh, he's, he's like that disco daunting looking guy. So I recognized him. That was cool. Nice to see another familiar face. Um, after this, we had Alejandro, Dante Leon, and Ninja Mac versus Congo, a team that consists of High 69, Shuji Kondo, and Tadasuke. This was a really fun match, actually, with Alejandro and Ninja Mac, without doubt, being the standouts. They were doing some cool stuff in this match, and I, I don't remember who won. Okay, um, I'm sorry. I think they did, though. No, no, yeah, I remember. Yes, the team of Alejandro, Dante Leon, and Ninja Mac, they did win. I'm 100% sure about that. So that was cool. Next up, we have El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. Atsushi Koto Kot Kotoge. I'm sorry, I missed, I'm sorry. And Saiki Yoshioka versus Masaki Mochi Mochizuki Susumu. Mochizuki and Mochizuki Jr. Another fun match. Um, but I, I, like I said, I can't name some of these wrestlers. So I just referred to this guy in my notes. Uh, guy in ocean light blue gear. There was this guy who had like this light blue wrestling gear on. And he entertained me very much in this match. Unfortunately, he was the one who took the pin. So... That wrestler and his team, they lost. The other team won. And I, I, like I said, I can't tell who is who because I'm not familiar with Noah. Like I said before. I'm not trying to be offensive, you know. Just trying to be real. But give you guys the best review that I could possibly give at the same time. Next up, we have Congo. Team consisting of Katsu, Katsuhiko Nakajima, Masakatsu Funaki, Manabu Soya, and Hakimi Ohara versus Kazuyuki Fujita Kendo Ka Kashin Nosa Rongai and X and X is not a wrestler named X. It's not the 2022 uh, indie horror film either. <laughs> Stupid joke, I know. Um, oh man. My mate just messaged me how the match ended. Oh, all right. Because um, like I said, it cut out right at the end. But as I was saying, I thought the mystery man was was actually Great Okan from New Japan. Because of how he looked with all the mask and everything. But that, 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 seemed, that was just the guy's, the, the team's manager. Um, but X, like I said, I, I, could only, I could have only watched a Japanese commentary version of the show. And when the ex aka mystery partner came out, I do not know who this man is. To like a to like a pro wrestling Noah, like hardcore fan, probably someone very important. I do not know who he is, sorry. He looked like a much older man though. Um there was this um there was this wrestler who whose look really kinda caught my eye. I guess he kinda reminded me of Damien Priest. Uh, that wrestler being Nosawa Rongai. Um, one of the other wrestlers, of course, did this awesome tilt a wheel backbreaker to Rongai. Uh, just a note that I wrote down when I was watching the show, of course. And X, you know, the mystery partner, got the win for the team. So cool. And after this, we had a little uh, great Muta tribute, which was nice. And after this, we have a singles match. Uh, finally, I can review a singles match from the show for you guys. And then this is another wrestler that I, that I do actually know. Timothy Thatcher. Yes, from former WWE wrestler Timothy Thatcher versus Jack Morris. Who I'd never heard of till today. And Morris looks so much like a white 2015 Roman Reigns. I'm just being honest. And Timothy Thatcher was using... Uh, well, when he was known as Volta, back when he had this theme, he's Gunther now. 
uh, used his theme and kind of his entrance to Timothy Thatcher, you know. But in this match, we had beautiful arm drags by Morris, like at least three of them by Jack Morris. And funny enough, Jack Morris was actually the stand-up performance in this match to me. And it was actually him who got the win, not Timothy Thatcher. And I was watching it for Timothy Thatcher because he was someone I knew. But Jack Morris, no offense to Timothy Thatcher, but Jack Morris really won me over in this, in this match. I really enjoyed watching him wrestle tonight. And this was, I guess by default, easily my favorite match of the show up to this point. Uh, but yeah. And after the match, uh, again, like I said, with the mystery partner from before, I don't know who this guy is. Um, this guy in a Black Knight outfit um, debuted or returned, I can't tell. Um, to confront Jack Morris, I think he might have shaken his hand too. I don't really remember. But, cool. And after this, we have the GHC Junior Heavyweight Championship match. We have Amakusa defending against Junta Miyawaki. Um, a good match. I, um, I couldn't tell, like, who was who in my, when I was writing down on my notes. And I referred to one wrestler as white trunks and the other wrestler as blue pants. Um, but I'm pretty sure Blue Pants is Amakusa, a.k.a. the champion. So, Junta did these beautiful arm drags. He did this beautiful spinning move to the outside onto um, the champion. Uh, Amakusa tried to kick out of the submission while uh, Junta was holding him down. Uh, Blue Pants, I mean, <laughs> I mean, sorry... Amakusa did this beautiful suicide dive to the outside onto, obviously, his opponent. Um, and then he did that spinning move again. Um, oh, he did the spinning move himself, I think, in the ring for a two count. And that was all I wrote for that match for notes. Amakusa got the win and retained the championship. Cool. After this match, some more wrestlers that I actually know. GHC Tag Team Championship match. Taka Takashi Sugiur Sugiur I'm sorry. And Satoshi Kojima defending against Kenta and Aomichi Marafuji. Kenta and Marafuji, those are wrestlers I actually know. Uh, this was definitely my match tonight up to this point. I, I was really enjoying the champions in this match actually. Kind of like before how... I went into that earlier match because of Timothy Thatcher, because I knew him and I never heard of Jack Morris. But the ones that, that, that I didn't know won me over in the match, with all due respect. That was kind of the same with this one too. There was this crack up moment where like Kojima was like moving his pecs like that, you know, when like muscly guys do that titty dance things, you know what I mean? Kenta did the STF. Uh, there was this awesome turnbuckle sequence between Kenta and Takashi. Um, I'm struggling to think and put into words what exactly it was, but um, there was this really cool butt that reminded me of like Samoa Joe versus Kenta Kabashi that match. Multiple fast chops from Kachima to Kenta, yeah, and the champs retained in this match, so cool. Next up, we have the GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match. We have Yohei and KZY, or Kazi, like I said, I'm sorry, versus Yoshinari Ogawa and Aita. Um, Ogawa, his appearance really stuck out to me, because he's this really cool looking guy. He's a Jimmy Page looking dude, honestly, yes, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Um, one of the, one of the champions... Was doing this like worm type thing, you know, like like a Scotty Too Hotty. That was pretty cool. Um, and the champions, one of them accidentally kicked his partner, which was hilarious. And Ogawa went for the cover. Ogawa hit one of them in the nuts. Um, one of the champions did the Panama Sunrise to Aita. Then Ogawa came in, did the back suplex to that guy. And Aita to one of the champions, mid-air super kick to like a GTS type move to another super kick. And Ogawa and Aita are your new GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Congratulations to them. Yeah. 
And now we go on to a match between two wrestlers that I never heard of in my life until tonight. Um, and I and a lot of the there's a lot of wrestlers like that for tonight, but I'm pointing it out for this match specifically because this was honestly my match of the night. This match was awesome. And it's weird because I was so excited for the main event of Muta vs Nakamura <laughs> that I was actually <laughs> kind of begging for it to end just for that. But this was my match of the night, I'm being honest. And yeah, my match of the year so far already. <laughs> GHC um, Heavyweight Championship match. We have Kaito Kiyomiya defending against Keno. There was this really cool moment um, when, like, they kind of broke through, like, the barricade or something like that. Like, they went through, like, the fence barricade thing. But I but I, put, I didn't see that bit myself. You know, I think I was distracted. I'm so sorry. But then the match itself, fast-paced, reminiscent of New Japan's main event-style action. Um, and this was built as, like... The first of a the first of a double main event, and just to be clear, there's there's no such thing as a double main event or a triple main event. There's only one main event, and that's the match that goes on last. Um, but still, this match was awesome. Moments where you thought it might have been over, and like I said, I was waiting for it to over just because I was so excited for the main event. But this was honestly by far my match of the night. Excellent work from both these men who I never heard of in my life until tonight. Epic match. And Kaito Kiyomiya retained the title. And he actually, I looked at the Wikipedia for that championship that this match is for. I'm pretty sure this is like the main championship for Noah. I could be wrong. Um, but this was like, this seems like this was like a rematch clause match. Because it said that Kano was the last champion. So yeah. But now we're going to the main event. The match we were all waiting to see. The match that the only reason any of us wanted to watch the show. And was waiting for all night and was excited for. Uh, the Great Muta versus Shinsuke Nakamura. The entrances were epic. This was cheated like a giant main event. And I couldn't help but imagine in this match that... I couldn't help but imagine myself in Shinsuke Nakamura's position and John Cena in the Great Muta's position. And it's the main event of WrestleMania for John Cena's final match. I couldn't help but think that. I fantasize about stuff all the time, every single day. And wrestling matches, me in wrestling matches is definitely one of them. Or very most of them probably, along with romantic love stuff with, you know what I mean. They actually played Shinsuke Nakamura's WWE theme for this, which was so epic. And according to my mate, even the same violinist too for his special, you know, entrance. Um, I don't know if this is or not, but if anyone knows, this is the first time that Muta and Nakamura have ever fought one on one. Because that's awesome. I don't know if they have... I'm not. I'm way more familiar with Shinsuke Nakamura than I am with the Great Muta. You know? It was cool. Because I heard that Nakamura in an interview recently said that the fact that he gets to do this match while under contract with WWE is a miracle. That was nice. How much this match actually meant to... Means to Shinsuke. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan. Um... There was this really, and this this wasn't the only match she was on, and other matches too. But there was this very beautiful, sexy woman voice for commentary. I have no clue who this was, but man, I just wanted to mention that. Uh, some insane technical wrestling in this match. There was a moment when Muta was grabbing Shinsuke, uh, who retaliated with a beautiful kick. Uh, Nakamura did that foot seizure thing soon afterwards. Nakamura went for the Kinsasha, but Muta sprayed mist. That was a cool moment. There was some weapons usage in this match. Outside of the ring, which for some reason does not get you DQ'd. Um, like Muta did 
I have no clue what this was. He he grabbed something, and he did hit Shinsuke with it, like, and then he put placed it on one of the commentary tables. I have no clue what that even was, but yeah. And then he tried to attack him with a chair. He even tried doing it with with a chair inside the ring, but Nakamura fought back with strikes. And he did the seizure thing again a little bit, but with the bottom rope as opposed to the turnbuckle, you know. And then Nakamura did that sprinting down the ramp to clothesline Muta thing. He tumbled back in the ring. That was cool. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, I've seen the Hulk Hogan versus Great Muta match. I don't know if that's like a thing that's in Great Muta matches or whatever. Or if like this, or if Nakamura doing was a reference, like a direct reference to that match. You know what I mean. And, uh, Muta, uh, seemed to do the mist again, and this was when my stream cut out. Um, yeah, like I said, but then I found out immediately afterwards that, um, that the match ended. What? So I just, I just, I just clicked on something my friend tagged me in that was saying how the match ended and it says that Shinsuke Nakamura kissed the great Muta to steal his mist and then did it to Muta himself then hit him with the Kinsasha for the win well the Bomaye slash Kinsasha it says far out wow Wow. So that was immediately... Maybe that second mist thing that I was talking about... Maybe that was this match. Maybe that was that moment. Like I said, because it literally right after... That it cut out for me. Like I said. And, uh... Yeah. Um... That, I guess that's it. That's my review of... Noah, the new year, 2023. I'm sure this is the first of many wrestling reviews for 2023 that I'm going to do. But that was my first wrestling review of 2023, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this review, but I'm so happy I did. I hope you enjoyed, y'all. And, uh... <sighs> Peace out, y'all. Have a good one. Once again, Happy New Year. Peace out, y'all.